All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah, Kodash. All right, which is true, Heavenly Father's name, Yahweh. The Father, He exists. Bahashem in the name of. Yeah, and Yahweh Shai is, our, is the Son, our Deliverer, who is to come. Okay? And um, this lesson will be entitled, All Nuclear and Mass Destruction Tech Comes from the Lord. Okay? We're we'll going to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. We'll hold the top and of David and have 100% truth. Okay? And, uh, and give lessons to the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. All right? You are the true Hebrew Israelites the Bible speaks of. All right? Also, I'd like to give citations to the head of my camp, Kazak, who I teach on, Shalom, and the Akwa and Akwa, the brothers and sisters that believe. And believes in the testimonies are right, in this true doctrine that is spread across the four corners of the earth in these latter and days. All right, shalom to you. I'm gonna go ahead and start in chapter Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy uh, 32 and verse 39, and it says, "See now that I, even I, he, it says, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal." Neither is there any that can deliver out my hand. And that's the Heavenly Father, man. But why your past ain't never read you that scripture? Because you've been taught lies, man. You've been taught this God that loves everybody, that, that, that don't kill nobody, that don't hurt nobody, who 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 soft and tender and unreal. Okay? And that, if any God is gonna have he's gonna have a balance of both good the well, I won't say that he, he has the ability to kill and to make a love. What, what God is not able to kill but not bring back the dead, okay? So, you know, about oh, but I forgot y'all, y'all talking to Marvel gods instead of the true power, Heavenly Father, okay? You let you let TV distract you from what God really look like. So, that 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 is another way of. Of you being bugged the fuck out, okay? But the true Heavenly Father, all right, has the power, the power to do anything and everything, okay? Deuteronomy uh, chapter 32 and 40 through 41 says, For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me see that does that sound like the lord loves everybody the lord says he's gonna put his glittering sword in the mouths of people who hate him man he's gonna slaughter people he's gonna go around slinging his sword man all right for those who hate him but this whole world believes in the god that loves the lord said hey you hate me i'm gonna kill you boom but why your past ain't told you that a precept to that this is John 15, chapter 15, verse 18 through 19, and Deuteronomy 32 and 42. This is uh, John chapter 15, 18. Says, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you, were hate, if you were of the world, the world will love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. All right. You see these brothers on the highways and byways on these corners uh, shouting and raising their voice and, and telling their people to uh, turn from their transgressions, turn from their wicked ways, and, and to prepare themselves for for the for 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 uh, Armageddon, World War Three, and to be be a, uh, be aware of the pestilence and disease that are brought up uh, brought upon us. These mandates, okay, you have been warned, man. You have you have been waking up through the spirit, all right. But everybody's spirit is not going to quicken within the voice, man. So we're only here for the elect, all right? And, 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 and you know, those who don't understand, hey, you don't understand by now, man. That's all. That's your problem, okay? We're only here for the elect, man. The chosen, the Lord that the Lord has chosen. It said it in this text. It says, but I have chosen you out of the world. So the Lord has to choose you out of this world, man, for you to see. All right, for you to have open eyes and to be able to hear and, and receive this truth. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 42. I will make my arrows drunk with, uh, drunk with blood 
and my sword shall devour flesh, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of rent of revenges upon the enemy. All right, the Lord is going to get all you heathen nations that had a hand in hand of destroying the Israelites, man. All right, everyone who has did anything wrong and put any of us in captivity, the Lord has you on the list. Your head, nigga, is going to be on the wall. You're going down. All right. The Lord, the Lord sets up these people who, you know, who are up and who is in rulership for them, for them, for his time to, uh, of coming to take place. All right. Everything has been written, man. This is the whole, this is the Lord's movie, man. And we're, we're just acting out the parts of it. All right. The Lord has set up everything already. It is done, man. It, is, it was finished since the beginning. All right. And we're just acting everything out. This is Daniel 2 or 20 says, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of Yahweh forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. For everything of understanding is of the Lord. You're not going to understand everything of why the Lord does what he does. All right. Who are you to question him, man? All right. This is uh, Daniel 2 or 21 says, And he changes the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and set up kings. He give wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. All right, he revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. See that? And who is this light? His chosen man. His chosen is dwelling with him. That is the light in this dark ass world. See this truth. His word is the light. And who has this word? Those he have chosen, man, to give forth this word of lightness, all right, to awaken, to 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 awaken those who are asleep out of their sleep, and to get into nourish them into this truth, man, okay, through the Holy Spirit. So hey, man, the Lord is in control of everything, every king, every play, every every man who has who has risen up, man. If they were good or bad, man, the Lord has control in it. We read it already in the beginning. See? The Lord says what? And there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there that can move around my hand. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 39. So, hey, man. The Lord is in control of everything. He's, he's, he's doing it. Okay? The, the blacksmith, the man's weapon of mass destruction, the Lord gives them visions of what to make, man, for his for his destruction. Okay? This is Isaiah chapter 41 to 7 says, So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smootheth with the hammer, him that smote uh, the annual, saying, It is ready for the soldering, and he fast and he fastened it with uh, nails so that it shall not move. Alright? Keeping everything together, making everything sure that they're sharp and, 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 and not movable, man. Making sure it's durable. Whatever, it may, whatever the purpose may be of it, it is going to be perfect in its form, okay? This is uh, Isaiah chapter 54 and 16 says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy it. You see? Nuclear bombs, tanks, everything. The Lord has put in the minds of all these men to, to bring forth destruction. And has not, hasn't it not bring forth destruction? Have it not people died from it? Killed from it? Blown away from it? So who created these weapons? The Heavenly Father. See that? Ice, these IPCU, miss, uh, IPCUM missiles. All right, these nuclear warheads. The Lord has his hand in everything, man. He has his hand in everything. How you think these mass destructions are going to hit? These IBCU missiles, these thermal nuclear warheads are finna take place on Earth, man. They're ready to shoot these motherfucking missiles and blow mass cities, man, mass states. And they got what Putin now has uh, Satan 2 now. He has Satan 2 IBCU missile now. Hey, shit, America could even get past the first one. Now he got number two. Tell you now, man. America has no chance. Okay? Nuclear is in the Bible, man. 
This is Jeremiah 50 and 9. It says, For lo, I will rise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves and, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From from thence she shall be taken. The arrow shall be as of a mighty expert man, and none shall return in vain. The arrow shall be of a what? The arrow shall be of a mighty expert man. Is that just a person with a regular bow and arrow that your pastor loves to just keep washing your brain with? No. These are of an expert man. As a scientist, Albert Einstein, or, you know, some German who created the first atomic bomb, expert man type shit. And these are the IBCU missiles, man. Okay? IBCU missiles. They, they, they're, they are the most powerful weapons on this planet. Okay? Killing mass people can kill up to millions of people, man. Spreading across a whole fucking state. Maybe two states. So, this is something to fear, man. This is the Lord's anger. He's going to bring it upon you. No matter what you pray for, man, this shit is going to happen. Period. It's, 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 it's going to happen. It's a second edge 16 and 3. It says, a sword, is sit, a sword is sent upon you. And who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you. And who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you. And what is it he that may drive them away? Who is you to drive anything away the Lord has made? Second Edges 16 and 6. May, and it says, May any man drop away a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it hath begun to burn. Nobody's going to touch that. This is uh, Second Edges 16 and 7. May one turn again to uh, Salaki so says, "May one turn again the arrow that is shot in a strong archer." See that man? This is not no regular ass fucking bow and arrow, man. This is a mass destruction weapon, and we see how these launches be on these rockets, man. They shot. See that? It says, "Shot of a strong archer." This ain't no goddamn, you know, uh, green arrow, motherfucking no. This is a goddamn. Machine, okay. <clears throat> Second Ages, uh, sixteen and eight says the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues. Now who is he that can drive them away? See that it says, uh, verse nine says, a fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is that that may quench it? A fire may, a fire shall go forth from his wrath. The Lord's wrath, man. Who's gonna quench that? <laughs> Man, his death is coming to America. I already read to you, it's coming from the North Country, man. Ain't this the North Country? Ain't this country so great? All right, man. So you already know through the spirit who, who's going to be targeted the most. All right. And it says, he shall cast lightnings. And who shall not fear? He shall thunder and who shall not be afraid? says the Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea arises up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are troubled and the fishes are, it says the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. See that? Before the glory of his power, man. This shit is going to happen before the Lord even come in his chariots, man. This is, uh, for strong is his right hand that beneath the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the earth, the ends of the world. When these nuclear, nuclear, uh, missiles go across the earth, man, and they land in their spots, there ain't no much, there ain't gonna be no defense system, no nothing that. America love to fucking say oh, we gonna have our defenses up and there's the ones getting through us and all that shit. Clear your head from that shit, man. For when you hear peace and safety, sudden destruction shall be upon you, man. Alright? So fuck what America ever says, man. But the Lord has said what? Destruction is coming. So you better get your shit right. This is uh, verse 16 says, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer, 
returneth not backward. Even so the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. Man, this is going to be the most greatest destruction there ever was on earth. Okay? But once this happens, man, it's never going to happen again. So, you know, destruction is upon America. Destruction is upon the earth. So you better repent now. Turn to y'all watching y'all shop. All right? And... Follow and, 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 and follow the ways of the lost Dr. Commandments the best of your ability. Alright, and with that, I hope everything was edifying. Shalom.